Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verl is here to the start of this week's Fan Fridays and a Pokemon we have certainly never seen before in the series. A Flabebe in doubles in a championship battle next to a Star Raptor. Man, that, that, that just turned me like into a full valley girl right there because everything has a question mark at the end of a sentence, because I'm just looking at this Flabebe, like, what's it going to do? All right, so we got Suicune, Tapu Lele. That is something that I do not look forward to. Like, we got Staraptor with the Intimidate. Unfortunate, not going to get much out of that Intimidate. And Staraptor actually sounds like a pretty solid shutdown Pokemon. You have a tanky thing next to it. Staraptor can either, like, go for that Intimidate shutdown, Final Gambit, the uh, special attacker, and then physical Pokemon doesn't really have too much effectiveness, or Staraptor just hurts. So, going for that Protect on the first turn from Tapu Lele, that's going to give Staraptor the Final Gambit. Ooh, and it's Protected. And Suicune going for the Tailwind. That's, uh, not good. So Tailwind's going to blow from behind the team, and Flabebe will find a Calm Mind. Alright, so whenever you see Suicune, yeah, that's like 99% what it's going to do. Boom. Going to go for that Tailwind right there, because even then, like, Star Raptor... Well, I mean, it wants to be, like, Scarfed, so if it takes an Ice Beam, it's not going to have a huge Final Gambit. So Star Raptor, that's going to be saved for the late game as we go into an Arcanine. Arcanine's Intimidate. Ooh, that Double Intimidate. Next to a Calm Minding Flabebe means that thing's not dying. And Tapu Lele has the Taunt, so taunting the Flabebe could be a little devastating, but that's like using up a turn for damage, as Suicune's Ice Beam will do like 5, 20 to Arcanine, so not really too much of a hit. Ooh, Tearful Look! I feel like I know what that move does. We <laughs> Maybe I've seen it before. Um, but we're going into a Z move. Ooh, ooh, wants to get the big Tapu Lele damage right there. Shattered Psyche. Who's the target? Like, is this is this like the Shattered Psyche to remove Arcanine? All right, how much how much damage are we gonna see right here? So getting bounced around, breaking through, and that's a one shot. Okay then. So Arcanine, known for its bulk, but cannot survive the Z boosted, stab boosted, terrain boosted Shattered Psyche. I think that's that's exactly why that exists. Tapu Lele, you max out the speed, you outspeed it, you take out the threat Arcanine instantly, and the Flabebe doing a little bit of damage, but nothing too serious. Bayonet comes in, does have Prankster. We do know that Tapu Lele likes to protect, so maybe that first turn, keeping that, you know, those ghost moves out of the way, targeting Suicune, trying to shift some attention over there, could pay off. So Tapu, actually no, Tapu Lele going for Psychic. Interesting. Not really getting too much right there, Suicune with the Snarl. So now going to lower the special attack on the Flabebe. Uh, super effective, doesn't really do too much, so at least Bayonet can survive. Tanks out really well, and doesn't care about the special attack drop, but goes into a Shadow Claw. And Tapu Lele will go down to the Shadow Claw. I'm wondering, because Mega Bayonet has, like, the third highest attack in the game. I think maybe second highest for non-legendary Pokemon. Or, or something ridiculous. Like, Bayonet has a, a massive amount of offense. So I feel like a Shadow Sneak could have taken out that Tapu Lele and not risk taking too much from the Psychic. Maybe it's hit points, attack, invested, stuff like that. Opponent looking, looking strong with that full shiny legendary team. You know, that's... Our full shinies plus a legendary. Tapu Lele isn't shiny yet, so naturally, if you're going to hack, you can't hack it in like that. Uh, going into that Mega Blaziken. And Flare Blitz. All right. So, Flare Blitz, that's looking to take down the... Oh, wow, I was about to say take down the uh, Bayonet, but Flabebe tanks a Flare Blitz from a Mega Blaziken as Hydro Pump from Suicune. That's got to take down Bayonet. Oh, wow. The tankiness on this team is actually surprising me. I'm wondering if instead of Calm Mining, what if Flabebe went for, you know, Light Screen? It can do that, right? Like, if it was that kind of support. Also, it has Symbiosis, and there's a Trick Room. So now this is like, all of a sudden, like, Bayonet throws down the Trick Room. Things stop being weird and get even weirder, I feel. And now we have a Speed Flip against the Blaziken and the Suicune. So how do we turn this around? Bayonet's going to switch out. That leaves you with a Star Raptor. How does Star Raptor work under Trick Room? Intimidating Blaziken, that's maybe the play. Is this, is this really now all of a sudden like, okay, we got screwed up. Let's just have Flabebe carry. Uh, Trick Room into Synthesis. Good. I was going to say, it also has Symbiosis, so whatever item it has, it could pass on if it needs to. But you can't pass on with the Mega. Suicune with the Ice Beam. Uh, got some good Calm Mind, so Flabebe's not going to take much damage. No. 
Low hit right there, 14 damage. Uh, Blaze can speed boost. Speed doesn't matter in this trick room. Oh, wow! I can't believe that's gonna work. So because of the speed boost, the Raptor is actually gonna be slower than the Blaziken. And if it goes for the Brave Bird, I think it'll trade with the Suicune. Like Suicune Ice Beam. Yeah, that's gonna hit Star Raptor. Star Raptor survives. Because non-stab, you know, it's alright. And it doesn't need to final gambit. So there's the Brave Bird, takes down the Blaziken, and then Blaziken is going to lose all of its and then uh, Star Raptor loses health from the recoil. Is it enough to take down Star Raptor is the question? No. All right. Uh, yeah, like, Star Raptor's still getting really healthy. When you think it, it's a third of the damage, Star Raptor already, or Blaziken already missing health, it's working out. But at least this weird, that weird adjustment actually working against this hacker right now, which is pretty good. So, Flabebe is going to come in. Uh, or not Flabebe, like, Scrafty's going to come in, the Intimidate. Switch out Star- Now Star Raptor's free to come in, Brave Bird something else, and just win. Bayonet on low hit points, that's going to be a free cleanup right there. Scrafty's fake out, going to- when you have to fake out the Flabebe, you know, Suicune's Ice Beam. I, it looks like you can't stall it out enough, though. Like, that's not going to break through the Trick Room. Ideally, I think the idea is get everyone focused on the Flabebe. Trick Room on the Bayonet. Use a priority move to chip into the, um, to chip into Suicune and they'll be okay. But Intimidate on Scrafty means that, hey, Flabebe might sweep this one. It has the healing. It has a sustain. And that Moonblast damage, though... There's a Snarl, but 4x on a Scrafty from a Flabebe with the one-hit KO. Okay. Suicune's Ice Beam will take down the uh, Star Raptor. But I mean, but I mean, it's, you can't kill it. Flabebe wins. Oh, the Twisted Dimension's lasting one turn too long. I would like to see how much damage happens right there, but oh, Suicune with that Snarl though. That Snarl stalling is going to suck. Flabebe, though, taking that hit, going for the synthesis. It depends on what the Suicune has, because, like, we could be here for another 10 years. If, if Suicune has rest? You don't usually Crocoon it up in doubles, though. Like, Calm Mind's scary. This looks supportive, so I think it might just be camping, like, leftovers? Or maybe a Citrus Berry, Confusion Berry? So the damage will stick. And if you infinitely Calm Mind, you know, eventually you're just going to be at plus something. So that Snarl is going to be annoying. Calm Mind's going to try to do its thing. And I don't know how you, like... Oh, actually, no, Suicune, I was about to say, I was like, wait, did Suicune already take a hit? I feel like Suicune, Suicune took a little bit of chip, so we know it's not leftovers. If it was leftovers, this battle would take, like, another 50 turns. I don't know if the opponent's trying to win right now, though, because, like, that was an Ice Beam. No, you gotta, like, 100% Snarl until you're out of Snarl and the opponent is out of Calm Mind. That way the damage threat is gone. But now fishing for Freeze, maybe. Even then, like, a crit... What's that? Uh, I lost track of how much this, uh, this thing set up. Wow, that's actually... A good amount of scary damage. The special attack drop on that Moonblast going to be devastating for the Suicune, who's already doing no, like little to no damage. Six hit. Oh, there we go. So what you need, what you need is about 12 turns of freeze and two crits, and you might be able to take down the Flabebe. I think that's how it's going to work. Ah, there we go. So the opponent wasn't fishing for crits, wasn't just trying to chip in damage. Using that exclusively for the freeze, finds a freeze, takes the hard damage, like, option, and then spams the Hydro Pump looking for that crit. Um, 10, like, what's the max amount of damage? So if it's doing 10 damage, even if Flabebe was at plus 6, that means it's negating 75% damage. That means Hydro Pump is only doing 40 to the Flabebe, maybe 50. A crit will do 75. So, even if the Hydro Pump crits, Flabebe is okay. It's okay for like two turns after that. There's the thaw out into a Moonblast. No respect. Actually, no, the minus one on that. So maybe adding another, you know, third of damage. And Confusion Berry. So it, it's pretty much like the Snarls trying to keep Suicune alive. Yet yeah, the opponent just relying on the Hacker resorting to the Ice Beam Freeze, you know. Instead of taking the loss, looking to cheese it on the ultimate of RNG, Ice Beam Freeze again, you know, it needs like four more turns of freeze, into a back-to-pack -back Hydro Pump uh, crit, double crit, you know, craziness. Not happening, though. And then, yeah, running out of PP on that Hydro Pump. Game's over. Game is over, dude. Just take the L. Let the Flabebe just put you down, dude. Now you're just wasting everyone's time. You're wasting my time, you're wasting this battle's time, you're wasting everyone's time! Come on! That Moonblast, though, with the chunk, special attack's gonna drop off of that, and Flabebe will carry in the end. 
Please no freeze. Let's just end it. That's five hit. <laughs> That's five damage. It's done. Moonblast onto Suicune. Suicune goes down, and that will be the GG right there. Uh, what do we say? Like, I... Oh, and of course, you know, the hackers named me gay. This is Pokemon right now, guys. This is this is the epitome of the Pokemon community. So, yeah, I, I thought it was actually going to be a little different. I thought Flabebe was more going to support and not carry. But you have a Calm Minding Flabebe next to two Intimidate Pokemon. One of them bulky. One of them you don't really care too much to switch out. Bayonet, I don't know what Bayonet's job is. It just, like survives a hit and then KOs Tapu Lele. I guess that is the existence of Baynet, and it works out pretty well. Star Raptor, in a situation where it doesn't get protected, you know, it gets the final Gambit, lowers the attack of something, uh, Arcanine comes in, the attack goes down even more, Flabebe gets to set up Calm Minds, and then, I guess, Flabebe's actually the carry on the team. Okay, have a good day. Well, see you in the next Fan Fries. Sure.